Hello everyone, this is Crackers Tech, and welcome to another video. And in this video, everybody, I'm going to show you how to download and run Negrok, um, which um, what it does is it forwards your um, your router to localhost, and then you give them a certain IP that the Negrok app gives you. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do is you want to open up your web browser, and then what you want to do is type Negrok.com. And then click enter. And now at this point, at this point, you'll click sign up and uh, create your account. But you can see here, uh, yeah, I've I've blurred that out because I don't want it, want you guys to see my email. Uh, but yeah, that's where you will put your email and stuff and uh, create your password and all of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna click login since I already have an account. So yeah, um, after you've created your account, just do this. Um, click login and you'll you'll be shown this page now this is also blur blurred out because um, I can't show you my Negrok auth token um, because uh, you guys might, will be able to use it um, yeah which I don't want I don't want people to be able to use my auth token or else while I'm port forwarding or using Negrok to forward my tunnels to local hosts uh, then somebody else could use this and close out my uh, local host and uh, just access uh, I think access my computer. Uh, so yeah, what you want to do is highlight your auth token after you've um, created your account and logged in, and copy that. And uh, you don't need right here. Uh, you don't need the slash and the dot or dot and slash because um, let me just x that out um, because this is uh, if you're doing well if you're doing it on a Windows computer then you don't need that dot and that slash but I think if you're on Linux then you need to paste that in your Negrok terminal um, yeah so uh, what you want to do is um, now after you've logged in and copied this go to the download and then download it for your computer. Uh, they have it for Linux. They have it for the Linux ARM processors. They have it for FreeBSD, which I'm not sure what that is. Um, yeah, and right here's the 32-bit platforms if you want to do it uh, for for 32-bit computers. Uh, but I have a 64-bit Windows computer, so I'm going to click download. But um, let me just show you what you need to do at this point. Um, I'm not sure if you need WinRAR, but I'd install it just in case. But, um, open that, and here we are. So, what you'll do is you'll just drag this to your desktop, but I can get rid of that since I already have Negrok, uh, in my server folder. So, um, yeah, what you want to do now is, uh, open up your server folder, uh, after you've dragged the Negrok file into, the Negrok.exe into your, um, server folder. Now, open up Negrok.exe. And then what you'll have to do is you'll have to paste in your auth token, which is Control V in Windows and I think in Linux and Mac. So, uh, or it might be Command V in Mac. Uh, but yeah, so paste that and then click Enter, and then it'll save this auth token save to configuration file, uh, and then all of your uh, desktop and well, all of your folder information. And now what you want to do at this point is at Negrok TCP 25565 and I'm gonna um, pan and zoom so you guys can see that better uh, yeah you can see right there it says Negrok TCP 25565 now click enter and here right here where it says forwarding uh, here right here where it says 0.tcp.negrok.io colon and then your port that is your localhost Negrok uh, IP. So what you want to do is highlight that. And now in the last video, in the uh, dot properties um, folder, I told you to uh, put in your IP. But what you have to do if you're using Negrok, you have to remove your IP. So yeah, you can see here I already removed my IP. Uh, in the IP that I had in the last video was 192.168. 1.15 uh, which you do not want to do um, so yeah I just removed that and uh, yeah here's um, let me just remove that slash uh, but yeah so remove your IP and stuff if you're using Negrok 
uh, and then save it, control C, or no, control S, I apologize, and then you can close that out. Now, um, open up your server, uh, if you still have the nagrok.exe open, uh, j yeah, just leave that open and uh, copy copy the IP uh, starting with the zero. Um, now, open up your server, run.bat, as I told you in the last video, or anything that you want, .bat. And you can see, uh, also, I, and, yeah, I have um, now 8 gigabytes of RAM allocated into my server, because I decided, since I have 16 gigabytes of RAM in all, I decide to make it 8. And also, what mine does, I have it set so that when I open up the terminal, and uh, when I open up the uh, actual command prompt for the server this will automatically open up to which is the java minecraft um, terminal so i can just minimize these and now you can go to minecraft and i'm going to right now i have it set as set as local host so i'm going to remove that and now uh paste my ip in there so uh yeah here's your um uh, local host tunneled um using the grok um and uh, yeah, there it is. Um, it's very nice looking. <laughs> uh, yeah, there it is. And uh, so what you want to do now, you just want to click done. And yeah, as I said, you can name your server, whatever you want. Click refresh. And uh, here it is. It'll say welcome to my YouTube world. Well, that's what my MOTD is. And uh, yeah, this leads to my YouTube Minecraft world, um, which I don't think, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll continue that series, but um, just wait for that to load. Yeah, I'm down here in the mines, but um, yeah, since again, since I'm using Camtasia, uh, it looks slow in the actual uh, video, but let's see if I can get up from the mines. Uh, here we go. Uh, so yeah, you're, you've got a server set up. Uh, now, this IP in Nagrok, you can give to all your friends. And yeah, keep in mind, guys, that whenever you close out the Nagrok.exe, this IP is going to reset. Um, yeah, and every time you shut down your computer, uh, that's going to reset. So uh, yeah, I don't really need to go up, but yeah. Um, so this is your little server. I'm not getting much of a good connection there. <laughs> But yeah, there's there's your little server, um, yeah, on, on localhost. Uh, it's it's really cool. Um, I love using the Grok. It works really well. Um, so yeah, uh, at, um, it also if you don't want to use the Nagrok.exe, um, you could close that out. If you don't want to use the Nagrok.exe, but you have to keep this here. If you want to use the regular Windows terminal or command prompt, um, let me just delete that. Um. What you want to do is you want to open up a new text document. Now go over here and type in Nagrok TCP 25565 and save that and X that out. Uh, actually, I, I always do this. I always exit out before what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, click File, Save As, and do um, Nagrok or name it whatever you want dot bat and save as type all files and now this will open up as nagrok dot bat <clears throat> and uh yeah guys here you are you're all set um now uh with with the nagrok dot exe you have to type in nagrok tcp two five five six five but with the terminal version of it all you have to do is open it up and you're all set um so yeah guys um it's the end of this video now. I hope you found this video useful if uh, port forwarding does not work out for you. Uh, but yeah, guys. Anyway, it's the end of this video now. I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everybody.